CBS This Morning, America's most successful man on two wheels okay. is about to lose almost everything he has won. Lance Armstrong says he is giving up his effort to clear himself of doping charges. This morning, the head of the World Anti-Doping Agency says Armstrong's seven Tour de France championships should be, in his words, obliterated. Armin Katayan has covered this story for several years. Armin, good morning. Good morning. Lance Armstrong has conquered the highest mountains in a deadly form of testicular cancer. But late last night, he decided he no longer wanted to fight the agency responsible for keeping drugs out of sport in the U.S. From sinister climbs to an insidious disease, Armstrong took it all on and won, including a record seven Tour de France titles, becoming one of the most celebrated athletes in history. But Thursday night, Armstrong announced in a statement that he was giving up his fight against the United States Anti-Doping Agency that is charged that he used performance-enhancing drugs to win all those tour titles. Armstrong will now be stripped of those wins dating back to 1998. In a statement, Armstrong said, there comes a point in every man's life when he has to say, enough is enough. For me, that time is now. I have been subjected to a two-year federal criminal investigation. I know who won those seven tours. Nobody can change that, especially Travis Tiger. Given that he's chosen not to contest, it's a legal fact that he's now disqualified and has a permanent ban from sport competition. In June, USADA brought charges against Armstrong relying on not a positive drug test, but what it called non-analytical evidence that he used performance-enhancing drugs. Evidence that reportedly included testimony from several former teammates. Armstrong filed suit in federal court to stay away from drug arbitration. On Monday, a judge dismissed the suit. We had nothing to hide, we know that. Armstrong has long and vehemently denied he used performance-enhancing drugs of any kind, citing the fact he never failed more than 500 drug tests. But in May 2011, Armstrong's former teammate, Tyler Hamilton, told 60 Minutes that he frequently saw Armstrong use EPO, a banned blood booster. I saw it in his refrigerator, you know. I saw him inject it more than one time. You saw Lance Armstrong inject EPO. Yeah, like we all did. Nike, a longtime sponsor of Armstrong, released this statement. Lance has stated his innocence and has been unwavering on this position. Nike plans to continue to support Lance and the Lance Armstrong Foundation, a foundation that Lance created to serve cancer survivors. Armstrong State with us. Peter Flax, editor-in-chief of Bicycling Magazine, joins us now. So where, what do we make of this? Uh, first of all, this announcement by Lance, and what happens to him and all of those titles he has won? Well, I think he's choosing the least worse option in front of him. I think he's trying to find a place where he can take the moral high ground and claim that he's the victim of a, a witch hunt, and it's a damage control move. Um, I think USADA today is going to act to strip him of those titles, and then it'll turn into this uh, international um, situation where uh, other governing bodies have to accept it. Um, so it's, it's not clear yet whether his titles will actually be stripped. Is there any doubt that he, in fact, used these kinds of uh, a doping uh, products? I'm absolutely convinced that he did, but I'm also convinced that he is the victim of a witch hunt and that, that, that there's no justice possible here, but he, but he um, just to be clear, I think he is um, absolutely guilty of the charges he saw that was pursuing. And, and Peter, what do you make of, uh, what are you hearing about people's support for him this morning? My doorman said to me, look, I don't know whether he's guilty or innocent, but he has not been proven to be guilty of these charges, and he should not lose his title. What are you hearing people yeah, saying? Yeah, I mean, the legacy is being shaped right in front of our eyes on Bicycling's Facebook page. Hundreds of people um, have come on the last um, 24 hours and made hundreds and hundreds of comments, and I'd say 95% of them are pro-Lance people, um, you know, communicating their support for him. And so I think, you know, it, it's being shaped right in front of our eyes. I think he is guilty, but in a lot of people's eyes, he's still an inspiration. He's still the guy who won those tours to France. And, and so it's, it's going to be take some time to see how this all plays out. And this process has become so politicized from going back five years now. I mean, USADA is not a it's not a government agency. It's a it's a private um, organization, um, a nonprofit organization that has a stake in this politically to prove that Lance Armstrong has been doping to send a message to other athletes. And I don't know when you talk about a fair process and safe sport how much this really adds to that. Okay, was there any way that he could have proved himself innocent at this stage? Not with this process. I mean, 
What's the record? 58 and 2 when you go through this arbitration process against the athletes. So the odds were infinitesimal that, that Lance was going to win in this in this uh, kind of proceeding. So he loses all these titles. What happens to do they now make the winner of the uh, Tour de France in 19 whatever? You're going to have to go down a little bit of a list. This is a, we, we have a, uh, a story in, in our, um, our, our current issue of bicycling that, that discusses what happens to the yellow jerseys. And one of the interesting things is if they just hand the jersey to whomever came in second, all of those men are convicted dopers, people who made financial settlements to get out of a doping case, or people who've already been ensnared in these things. And so it's not like going to create justice to just take them. And they might just say nobody won those tours, which is the most awful possibility for fans. You know, like a lot of people, I spent seven years watching it. I Someone won those Tour de France, and Lance Armstrong did. I saw it, and I don't want that taken away. And so did I. I saw five of them, and nobody was even close to Lance. And he says he knows he won. The people that watch knows he won. To be continued. Thank you both. Thank you. Nice to see you. Peter Flax and Armin Katayan, thank you. This morning, Charles.